Oh my gosh, you guys, do I have a story for you. You know what's really funny is I was thinking to myself the other day about how I never really have entertaining stories to tell you guys. Like, all these other YouTubers have these insane stories of crazy things that happen to them. And I'm just kind of like sitting over here like, oh... Nothing ever, nothing special ever happens to me. But now I can finally say without a doubt that something has crazy happened to me and it was my fault. And, oh my gosh, you guys, this is probably definitely the craziest thing that has ever happened to me. So I, I guess I should just give you guys the intro and just explain what all exactly happened. So basically the other day, uh, while we were live streaming, we met this kid. And I'm not going to reveal his name or anything like that, just... You know, not to be a complete douche. He was really funny. He's a really nice guy. When we met him in the stream, he was really funny. We did some prank calls with him and stuff. He seemed like a really nice guy. Well, what happened was I added him on Skype and we started talking on Skype. He showed me his YouTube and his YouTube channel had a bunch of mods and stuff like that on it. So we, you know, we figured he was a hacker. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I, you know, I don't have anything against hackers. Nothing wrong with that. If they want to do that, that's their own thing, you know? Well, he posted on Skype the other day that he was um, looking for people to sell some mods and stuff to, so it's like, oh, okay, I wonder if you can, you know, give me Master Prestige on Black Ops 2 or, you know, host me a lobby or something. And I know you guys are like, oh, Wolfie, you're not very honest and stuff like that. Guys, it takes me forever to rank up in this game, let's be honest here. I'm sorry if this really bothers you that I wanted to do this, but, you know, it's only he said it was only five bucks. It was, I'm not going to be offended or freak out over five dollars. I thought it'd be cool, you know. But anyway, so I start talking to him on Skype, and he says $5 for this, or to get Master Prestige on Black Ops 2. So of course, me being the little innocent person I am, I sent him $5 over PayPal, and he accepted it, you know. And right as he got the payment, of course, you guys saw it coming, blocked me on Skype. And, uh, or removed me from contacts, he didn't block me. So he removed me on Skype, and yeah, you, know, you can tell where that went. So obviously it was, he was a scammer. There's nothing I could do about it, and I lost five dollars. Well, obviously I was, you know, well, it was only five dollars, but I was still a little frustrated. You know, he just took five dollars from me, man. I could have bought five candy bars with that. So you know, some things got said. I'm not gonna go into the details, but some things got said back and forth between both of us, and then. The worst thing happened. He came back and he posted. I'm not, again. I'm not gonna post it on screen, but it had everything in this message had my IP, or my address, like where I was living at the time, everything. But what he doesn't understand is that's my school's IP address. So it's not, I'm not at home, that's my school he found. He, he linked everything for my school. Well, he threatened to DDoS me, and I warned him, I was like, do not DDoS me, this is my school's internet. If you do it, it's gonna end badly. Not for me, for you. Well, he didn't listen, and he, I will actually give him props. He did hit off my internet, our school's internet. He actually hit our entire school's internet offline for a good 30 to 40 minutes. Like, it was all over our school's yik-yak. Our internet was down. It was bad. But what was hilarious is what happened when we, you know, my RA found out it was a DOS. They tell us on weekends to get your RAs if you're having internet trouble. And my RA is actually friends with the guys at our IT. Once the internet went out, I told him, you know, that I was pretty sure it was a DDoS attack and I told him what happened. So he gets on the phone, the guys from IT. And I start talking to the guy from IT on the phone. Like it's just me and him. I explain what happened. We sent him the kids info because I mean, he sent me a thing on, or I had to pay him on PayPal. I had his email, his name, everything. So we sent the IT department everything we had, his IP, all that kind of good stuff. And then um, IT said they look into it and they asked me to do a little test to make sure it was uh, you know, a DDoS attack. So we did a little test and I actually recorded some of our phone call, which sounds creepy, but I thought it'd be cool for a video. So I have a little bit of the recording. I might play that right now if that's the, if that's the case. I'll let you guys know in the video. time. Okay, the time is six milliseconds. Okay. It's going through. It's going through, but now I'm getting request timed out, request timed out. Okay, that's the packet loss. So, um, how many requests timed out are you going to get in? Okay, it went through like a first time, got a request timed out, went through two more times, and then I got like five requests timed out. I went through another time, and now I'm getting more requests timed out. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds like DDoS, because that's exactly what happened when we got DDoS. Last, I think it was last semester because my friend got an instrument on Reddit and they got our IP address. No. Um, so, if you, if you can get Patrick to just send me those things and I will, I, I can 
can text my boss later. Well, I'd actually do that tomorrow because he doesn't like to be contacted off hours. Yeah. Um, and he was having like a really crappy day on Friday. He was really sick. So I will text him tomorrow or go when I go to work tomorrow. I'll talk to him about it. Um, or you can call up the IT department and ask. I don't recommend that because we're like super freaking busy. Yeah. Um, so I'll, just, I'll text Patrick and let him know if that works. But after I got off the phone with him, not even five minutes after we gave him the info, he, he messaged us back and said, LOL, we found the kid's house. And they actually had found the DDoSers house, um, because they could tell where all the info was coming from. Again, not to give away too much info, but the kid was from the UK, and all the packets were coming from the UK that was clogging up our internet. So they're like, okay, yeah, it was him. But anyway, so they pretty much, they got his IP, they found out who was doing it, they blocked his um, IP from sending us more info, and our internet came back online. But I just found it absolutely hilarious. He couldn't do anything, because he's not really the head of IT, he's like one of the you know, assistance or whatever, but he told me once he, uh, once they came in tomorrow, his boss and everything came in tomorrow, they were gonna pass along his name, IP, and all that kind of stuff off to the boss to determine what they're gonna do to this kid. But guys, it was my, uh, well, technically, it's my fault that my school's internet went down for a good 40 to 30 minutes. It was actually really funny, but it was, yeah, it was a terrifying experience. I didn't know if I was gonna get in trouble or anything, which I didn't really do anything wrong. I called my dad to tell him what happened. My dad was freaking out. He's like, if you get in trouble, you're going to be paying for this. Like, it's going to be your fault. And, oh, man, guys, you don't understand. This was a really funny situation. So, yeah, that's my uh, crazy story of the day. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, this happened on Sunday today. When you guys are watching this, it's probably Tuesday. So I'll try to think of some more. I really don't have many funny stories like that that have happened in my life that I can think of at the moment. But I'm sure I'll think of some more before the day is over, before the week is over. And produce some really cool content for you guys. And I'll let you guys know. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this story. If you want more, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter for all that kind of good info. You know, find out when I'm streaming, when I'm uploading new videos, all that kind of good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. And as always, stay beautiful. Peace out.